it's been a while guys and uh well i'll tell you what i've been up to you so the last couple of months i've actually been training for the olympics and i was gonna go in for skateboarding basketball soccer um the thing with the sticks and uh i was training on sob that's why i didn't film anything new well, then i went ahead and i showed up to japan a couple of weeks ago but apparently you just can't show up and try to participate Apparently you have to be invited, which I didn't know, so just wasted a bunch of months just training and, and, and hitting things with sick and, and it was for nothing. But, you know, it is what it is. I'll just get back to Legos. Also, you apparently need talent, which I didn't know that you needed talent, and that's a whole other issue. But anyways, that's it's spilled milk. I'm not going to cry over that. So anyways, I'm back. Hi guys, it's Rob, aka El Brico. I did go ahead and add a little bit more to my town. Oh, me and my best friend were working on the town because I had company coming over and we just went ahead and did some rough placement of, of uh, some some people, some areas. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and refix that, but just giving you ideas of, giving you guys an idea of what I worked on, what we worked on uh, while, you know, we had to put in something presentable so the town didn't look too vacant. I, as I'm like showing the town, I realize, well, if you're going to do this and you're probably going to have to add music. So, you know what? Instead of just being silent, I'll go ahead and continue talking. Uh, just added some figures here and uh, people are walking across band members and stuff like that. So nothing crazy on what we actually went ahead and put into the city. Um, just put out some characters and some characters i mean some minifigures uh like the do i still assume there we go the uh sweeping cleaning people office broom utility people there they uh, my brain doesn't work most of the time so if i have to make up words and and sentences then so be it. Anyways, so uh, clean spreamer, broomer people over there, uh, just some townspeople over here. Nothing, nothing permanent, honestly. That's that's basically what I'm getting at. I did go ahead and we did go ahead and add the cake shop, which is a mock I did for a contest. Oh, I did. We did go ahead and add that there. I think that looks really good there, especially with the sweet shop right there. I kind of picture this area of the town to be kind of like an upscale hipster kind of area. I mean, I, I know there's a couple of places like this throughout the cities where, you know, it's it's part of the inner city, but it's hip and close enough to the center of town that you get these really expensive buildings, something of those as condos, and you get these, you know also hipster restaurants over here so i figured this would be a kind of good area i was actually going to do a skate park next to the tree i was going to make this more into a kid area uh but i think that looks good i might be able to add a skate park over there and some type of uh right over there and some type of uh just basketball area or whatever this is a makeshift airport i made uh, again, I had a company, I just really wanted to go ahead and put up stuff for them to see. So I just kind of put everything together. This is not permanent. But it's an idea of where the airport could be, uh, or what the airport is going to be. I've always wanted to make an airport, I just haven't gotten around to it. But just an idea of what we would put out, or what kind of uh, space it would take up. And I, do, I think it does take up a lot of space, obviously. But we'll have to see. I'll have to see where it goes. I keep saying we because my best friend helped me put this up. But I, you know, I'm gonna be the one that decides where everything ends up being at the end. Not that I don't appreciate the help. I really appreciate the help, obviously, because I wouldn't have been able to be finished with all of this stuff that I put out in such quick amount of time. Uh, that's a makeshift post office. Again, not permanent. I'm gonna have to fix that up. Little little burger stand over there. And, uh, train station is not permanent. That's actually from the set from a while ago, but I put it up there because, uh, again, I'm taking up space. And, uh, the amusement park is the only part of the city besides the center city area that's really done. And, um, 
I guess the beach area. So we want to we uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add um, many figures to this area and uh, mocks in progress. I'm, I'll talk about that later another day. And the dock area again is kind of fixed up. Uh, I need to fine tune it. But a good idea of where I wanted to go. That's actually gonna be like a container area cont uh, where ships come in and they drop off their loads. And then there is a racing car area over there. But again, that's just temporary. But yeah, that's basically where I want things to be. This table over here has a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna cats a lot of stuff over here that I'm gonna go ahead and probably use as the airport area because it does take up a lot of space and then do a bridge connecting. And that's about it. Uh, windmill fell apart right before the company came over. So I had to just make a quick fix. It really, really broke apart. I was able to fix that up in like a minute. There's Benny and uh, he's ashamed that I did not make it to the Olympics. But that's part two of the video. Now let's get over to the to the hole. How is it that I turn on the light and just the natural light from my window is better than with the light on? Anyways, uh, lost my train of thought. Anyways, uh, Lego hole. Yeah, there we go. I got a Lego hole. This is collectively two Lego holes. One that I made uh, uh, a couple, of, maybe a month ago, and then one more recently. Uh, the one from a month ago includes things like the Adidas sneakers, which I love as a sneaker head, uh, and as maybe I'll, I was thinking if I should go ahead and put up uh, my sneaker collection, maybe I'll do that. But anyways, if I, as a sneakerhead, I love the Adidas uh, uh, that came out. I might get a second one just to do the full pair. Daily Bugle is, is an excellent set. I am not a Marvel fan, but I am a Spider-Man fan. I think Spider-Man and X-Men are just fantastic creations, and even though I'm not hugely into Marvel, as maybe you guys can tell by my lack of Marvel sets, I really, 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 really like Spider-Man. I think this building's great. It's basically make your own skyscraper mock, and that's fantastic. I picked up the Ninjago set that apparently was released in June. That you need to you needed to buy a certain amount, and then you had to pay to buy it. Uh, apparently, it got released normally, so I went ahead and got that. Got this because it had the golden Harry Potter minifig. Uh, the fish set's great. These they got on sale for like 15 bucks. And uh, also the Everything is Awesome set I got a while back with the Daily Bugle and this, and I have the, the bonus somewhere. The Chinese Lanterns, uh, the Spring Lantern Festival, I got that too a while ago, but I found it on sale again on Walmart, and I got another set because I think these are going to go up high in value, and I think it's just a fantastic set that I, I wouldn't mind having a second of. And then I also got this on sale from Amazon. Altogether, I'm thinking this is about a thousand dollars worth of of sets that I got a lot cheaper than that because of the sales. And then finally, new stuff: the fish tank, the boat, which is great, the wildlife, which I love. This is this is such a stacked summer release. Uh, the tuk tuk I got a while ago too. Um, the cats, the and the birds, the pets, and just the animals. Though I mean, come on, I. If you love Lego, you gotta love animal minifigures, and this has everything. Monkeys, an elephant, which is an elephant animal. Elephant, you guys are probably too young to know what that's from. An eagle, which I didn't even realize was in there until after I bought it. The lioness, the lion, the cub, uh, the other cub. I ordered the one with the baby elephant. I ordered that separately on the day of the release on midnight. I wanted that uh, to come in because I wasn't sure it was gonna be in sale the day I went to the Lego store. Oh, and the egg, the egg's cool too. Fantastic summer release, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna begin with first. I don't think I'm gonna make this section. I think I'm gonna definitely parse out the parts. I don't need actually. I like the car. I do like the car, um, but I don't need this, whatever that is. Uh, so I'll probably just use the animals. Um, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back to some type of schedule um, now that my Olympic training is done. Um, we'll see what I can do, and glad to be back to all my dozen viewers. See you guys. Oh, like, subscribe, send me money. Bye.